Okay, let's begin. Hello and welcome. Good evening. Everybody, it's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, y'all at home. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to have another class here on soon. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. And let's begin. Let's see what we got. We're going to have section number four, the biggest and the best. That's the one we're going to have. As you may know, we are going to have class number nine today, which is called, which is longer. Okay, so that's today's topic. Thank you so much for joining. Welcome. I hope you're all good at home. Um, thank you so much. We're going to have the biggest and the best, which is longer. We're going to have section number four. Eliana, thank you so much, Eliana. It's nice to have you. Good evening. Welcome. No problem. I got you here. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, so uh, welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening, everybody. Uh, just a reminder, don't forget that um, the exercises that you have in the platform, so you, you do those. Yes. Uh, and in case you have any inconvenience with one of those, uh, let me know so I can help you out. Okay, so thank you so much for joining. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let me check. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna have some. Okay, from um, let's, let's take a look. Somebody wrote in the chat. Okay, Jenny Elizabeth Tolosa. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Welcome. 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 Okay. Section number four is the one we're going to start. The biggest and the best, which is longer. Class number nine. Let's begin. We're going to have the following video. Let's listen and welcome. Welcome to one more section. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, River, Valley, Volcano, Waterfall. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach, Desert. Forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Listen to the following vocabulary. Repeat it as many times as needed. Are you ready to learn new words? Listen first and then repeat each word. Beach, desert, forest, hill, island, lake, mountain, ocean, river, valley, volcano, waterfall. Let's begin with the vocabulary section in here. We're going to have this information about it. Yes. So 
Um, look at the pictures first. What do you see here in the pictures? Um, let me see. Edith, Carolina, tell me. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Tell me, what do you see here in the pictures? Um, I see a uh, a volcán in in eruption. <laughs> Very eruption, good. yes, a volcano. Okay, that a is having an volcano. eruption. Volcano. And what about this one? What is this? Oh, this is a desert. Exactly right. Yeah, like like El Salvador in in summer. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Yes. Thank you so Ooh. much. <laughs> Very. Okay. If 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 you are from San Miguel, I'm sorry for you or La Unión. <laughs> I'm sorry for you in in <laughs> summer. Oh, yes, like exactly. Very good. I'm yeah. sorry. Thank you so much, Edith. Welcome. Good evening. So we're going to have this, uh, let's say, exercises. So circle the correct answer. Number one is done. So we're going to work with number two. Sandra Noemi Pimentel. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Read example number one and then read example number two and give me the answer, please. Okay. Uh, number one, this amount with a hole on top of smoke and lava. Something came out and it came be tangled. Uh, the correct answer is volcano. And good. second, this is a dry sandy place. It doesn't rain much. Here and there are in midnight. The correct answer is a uh, little A, desert. Oh, perfect. We have a desert right in here. Thank you so much. Anna. Hello, Anna. Are you here? What is Anna? Anna, Christina. Yeah. Hello. Good evening. Number three, please, Hello. Anna. Okay. This is a long area on land between mountain or hills. Um, correct. Uh, letter A is Island. Island. Letter I, I, Island. Island. Okay. Island. This is a, a, a low area of land between mountains or hills. Okay. I'm sorry, Anna, but that is that is incorrect. Uh, it's a valley. It's a valley. Exactly right. Here is a valley. Yes, Anna. Nice try. Nice try, Anna. Thank you so much. Marcos. You're next, Marcos. Number four. Good evening. This is an area of water with land all around it. Yes. A little bit. Just like. Island. Okay. It's an area of water. Okay, because at the beginning, is this is an area of water, okay? What do you think this about... It's a letter C. Excuse me? This is, is letter C. Exactly. Lake. It is a lake. It is a lake. Yeah, because the water is, is there, right? And around... The, around the, exactly. There is the land. Lake. Like Ilopango like Lake, right? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Uh, let's work with, let me check. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno, number five is for you, please. This is a flow of water that happens when a river falls. And the option are... Uh, The letter C. This is correct. Wonderful. Exact, right? Yeah. Los chorros. That's the way they call it. Waterfall, right? Yes. Los chorros. Okay. What about number six? That's going to be for you. Yes. You, Elisa. I love Elisa. 
Elisa María García de Ruiz. Hello, Elisa. Can you participate? Hello. Welcome. Nice to have you. Tell me number six, please. What do we have in number six? Um, what is? Okay, can you read the, like, ah, okay. like the information? This is a large area of land that have lots of, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Trees. Trees on it. Very good. A large area of land that has lots of trees. Very good. The forest, right? Forest. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right? Yes. El imposible. That's the way we call it, right? We don't have too many here. Everything is getting destroyed because they want to build malls. Yeah, right? And some houses. So, and some, I don't know. And some uh, sugar. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. This is about vocabulary. Yes, let's take a look of another one, which is related to vocabulary. In English, we have sometimes compound words. What are compound words? Compound words are the two words that we put them together and they, they have one minute, right? For example, here we have Lake Superior. Yes, Lake Superior. Here we have like one thing and then we add one of these ones to make them make sense. You know what I mean? Lake Superior. Okay, what about the number two? What's number two, Jose Mauricio? Thank you. Amazon River. Piece of cake, right? River. Yes, this is huge. I love this one. This is like, I don't know. How many countries, Mauricio? Mm, well. Like, like four, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but I guess. Because I think we have Brazil, Bolivia, uh, Venezuela. Venezuela. And I think a little bit of Colombia, I guess. Yeah, so yes. that's, that's quite huge. Thank you so much for sharing. Maria Vilma Cortez, thank you. Number three, we have Grand. Have you heard about this? This is very popular. You see it in Marvel movies, right? Have you seen the Hulk? The Hulk, usually like, <laughs> he loves this area, right? <laughs> this place it on movies. To jump. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, and also... When he fights with somebody else, yes, um, he, he prefers this area because it's like empty, yeah, right. So, Vilma Cortez, uh, tell me. Good evening. Um, you need to use one of these ones, okay? This one's here. Okay, so river is done, but what about what about these ones? Um. So we have Grand, Grand. Um, Grand. Uh, Mount. No, I'm sorry. Try another one. Try another one. Mm. Intente otro. Try another one. Um, canyon. Oh, yeah. Very good. There you got it. Canyon. Very good. Grand Canyon, right? Yes, there is one big area, right, in a big state in, in the U.S. that is quite famous. Yeah, so that's a popular place. People usually go there and, and take some pictures and enjoy. I don't see the, the big deal, but that's, that's the way they do it. Claudia, thank you. Number four, please. Um, Atlantic Ocean. Exactly right. Atlantic Ocean. We don't have this one. We don't have this one with us, right? Yeah, no, we don't have this one so far. Oh, Mojave. Oh, this one is quite difficult. Mojave. You gotta know something about this one, right? So you can talk about it. Let's ask Juan Jose Garcia. Mojave. This is a big place as well. Juan Jose Garcia, tell me, with Mojave. So we have done with this one, canyon and also uh, ocean. We just have falls, mount, desert, and sea. 
So Juan, tell me, what about number five? What do we have in number five? Is false. No, I'm sorry. Try another one. Or C. No, I'm sorry. Try another one. Mm, and desert. Oh, yes. Very good. Desert. Okay. Desert. Much of a desert. Very good. Very big place as well. Oh, Nigeria. Oh, Niagara. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Niagara. Oopsie. I'm changing the, like, the, the country. Okay. Um, Niagara. What is this one, Jorge? Easy for you, right? Tell me. Niagara. What is that one that goes with Niagara? Uh huh. Um, Niagara. I'll have you here. I think those are in Canada, between the Canada, Canada in the U.S. I guess. It's a false. Exactly right. False. Here in El Salvador, we call them los chotos, right? Yeah. That's good. Mediterranean. What's the thing that goes with Mediterranean? Freddy? Sí. Thank oh, excuse me. Go ahead. No. <laughs> sí. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Okay. See? Sí? Very good. Thank you so much. And the last one, right? Oh, this one is like dangerous. Yeah. Expensive and dangerous, right? Yeah. Uh huh. What's the name of this one? That's mountain. Mount. Very good. Mount Everest. So this is Mount. like very like a famous place, but somehow it's quite dangerous. Yeah. So somehow it's quite dangerous. I heard stories about this. There are books. There are movies. Uh like people die when they try to like conquer this this place, Mount Everest. Oh. I don't know why people do that. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't find the reason, right? They spend a lot of money going there and suddenly they die over there. That's unbelievable. Oh, okay. So thank you so much. We're going to have a quick conversation about this. Just give me a minute. Here we go. Uh, okay. Thank you. Let's begin with the picture. Thank you so much for being here, Luis Alberto. Welcome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. It's nice to have you one more time. Do me a favor. Look at the picture and describe it, please. Oh, where are they? What are they doing? Where are they going? How do they look like? Oh, yes, please, please, D describe the picture. Okay, hello, Luis. Houston, do you hear me? Hello, Luis, do you hear me? Yes or no? Can you, can you participate? Do you hear Luis, people at home? Yes or no? Not really, right? Because I don't hear him. Let me know, because I don't. No, okay, we're going to work with Carlos Castro. Hello, Carlos. Can you participate, Carlos? Hi, teacher. Can you participate? Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Please, do me a favor and describe the picture. Thank you. Uh, Larry or... Oh. TV. No, excuse me. The picture. Describe the picture. Tell me, um, who are they? Where are they? What are they doing? I don't know. The oh, okay, like, thank you so much. No problem. Okay, uh, please, Daniela, help us describe the picture. Hi, teacher. Okay. Um... Well, there are two people, two persons, yeah, a woman and a man, and they are in a plane, 
maybe they're talking about the travel that they will do. It. And where are they? There are in a plane. Okay, very good. Airplane. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's right. Yes. Very good. And what are they reading, Daniela? What do you think? What are they reading? I don't know. Um, it's not a book. Maybe a, gu a guide about security in the plane. Okay. Thank you so much. We will find out. I will play the audio for this conversation. That's why. Accurate, Daniela. Very good. Wonderful. Uh, I will play the audio for this conversation. So what I want you to do at home is just listen and read. Also, in the second time, you can listen and read with your microphone off so you can practice your conversation. Here we go. Unit 14. It's the coldest city. Page 93. Exercise 2. Conversation. I love quizzes. Part A. Listen and practice. This is one of the best airline magazines I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Our world. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger? Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Amazon. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Unit 14. It's the coldest city. Page 93. Exercise 2. Conversation. I love quizzes. Part A. Listen and practice. This is one of the best airline magazines I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Our world. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Amazon. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Okay, so here we have this conversation. Evers, hello, Evers. Welcome, good evening. Oh, let me check. Oh, I'm sorry, Evers. I didn't check that. Now I'm checking. Thank you so much, Evers. No problem. I got you here. Uh, let's work with Christian. Hello, Christian. Tell me, what are they doing in the conversation? What are they doing in the conversation, Christian? Hello, Christian. Oh, I, no, okay. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. Nice to have you. Welcome one more time. Hello. Thank you, Blanca. Tell me, what are they doing in this conversation? Um, this conversation is um, 
Um, I mean, question? Are, they, are, are they reading the newspaper? Are they reading a book? Um, reading the the quiz. Okay, and, and where is the quiz? Is that in a in a book? In the newspaper? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yes, Blanca. Well, it is it is in a magazine, right? Exactly. So they are like, uh, what is this quiz about, uh, Sandra? Thank you, Freddie. That's very nice of you. Sandra, tell me, what is this quiz about? I don't know. Maybe it's a... Uh, uh, how do you say revista? Excuse me? Uh, revista? Like questions? Uh, maybe a question. Uh, exactly. And, and what are those questions about? Are, are the questions about food, about pets, about cars? About the country and that place. Exactly right, about countries. Okay, what are, um, if Freddie, what are the countries that uh, these people mention? Um, about the, um, the longest river in the world. Uh, yes, and what are those countries? El Salvador? Guatemala, Australia, and Mexico. Australia and Mexico. Oh, okay, what is another country, Freddie? What is another country that you find here in this conversation? Uh, Engl England. England, right? Uh -huh. And also? England and uh, uh, Malta. Malta. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. And what about the cities that we have here in this in this conversation? What are the cities? Mm -hmm. uh, Hong Kong. Ah, uh, which city city is the most expensive? Hong exactly. Kong, London, or Paris? Paris. Very good. So we have Hong oh, Kong, pa London. Paris. And... Oh, that's mm -hmm. very good, right? Pa Paris, Monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Sounds pretty good. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Thank you, Freddie. Okay. Okay, people. Any question about like expressions of vocabulary in here? Any question about this conversation? Something that you do not understand? Let me know. Everything is awesome. Perfect. I will give you some time so you can practice in the breakout rooms. So save the conversation, please. Also, Freddie, he sent it already on, on the chat here on Zoom. That was very nice. And please send it on WhatsApp group so your classmates can have it as well. That would be nice, okay? Uh, I will open the breakout room so you can get in the breakout rooms, say hi to your classmates, right? And practice as well with them, yeah? Don't forget, don't be afraid to, be mis to, to make mistakes, right? If you do mistakes, just fix them uh, and keep practicing, okay? So just... Practice and practice. I will open the breakout rooms so you can practice with your classmates uh, this conversation. Okay, let me see one more. Okay, here we go. Room number one, we're going to have Carlos Castro, Edith Carolina Rivera, Liliana del Transito Aguilar, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya, and Sandra Noemi Pimentel. You five stay here in the main room, please. Carlos Castro, Edith Carolina, Liliana del Transito, Ronald Rafael Cruz, and Sandra Noemi Pimentel. The rest of you, do me a favor, join your classmates so you can practice that conversation. Yes, it's open already. Please join and practice conversation. Yes. Thank you so much, Claudia. Okay, Jacqueline, Jenny, eh, Janessi, Luis, Daniela, please join. Um, Jose Mauricio, okay, Elisa, please join. Thank you. Jocelyn also. Oh, okay, for the ones that stay here in the main room, let's practice the conversation, okay? Oh, no, no, no. 
Jesus, no, Edith, come here. Okay, get back, get back. Okay, Edith and Ronald went there. Okay, for the ones that stay here, here we have the conversation. Please, let's um, let's practice. Let's practice, take terms, so you can practice the conversation, okay? <laughs> oh, Jesus, get back, get back. Okay. Yes. Hello, hello. Okay, yes. Sandra and Edith, let's practice. Uh, you switch roles when you finish, right? Yes. So, Edith, you are Claire and Steve, that's you, Sandra, and then you switch. Let's begin. Okay. This is one of the best airline magazines I've ever read. Oh, look, a kiss. Oh, war. How much do you know? Oh, I love kiss as in the question. Sure. First question. Which country is large? Mexico or Australia? I know Australia is longer than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That is the Nilo. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, uh, that is Paris. Paris is the most expensive. Okay. This this is one of the best stories I've ever read or look up with. Or for how much do you know? Oh, oh, I love kids. Ask me the question. Sure. First question, which country is longer, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is longer than Mexico. Oh, next. What's the longer river in the world? That's easy, easy night. All right. Parents at heart want which country is more crowded, Malta or England? Um, I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay. Want more? Which city is what? Which city is the most expensive? How Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, um, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Thank you so much. Very good. We have a few mistakes on pronunciation. I want you to hear your classmates so you can check those. Okay. And also you can practice as well. Ronald Rafael, can you participate, Ronald? Let me know. Yes, teacher. Wonderful. Carlos Castro, can you participate? Hello. No. Okay. What about uh, you, Jose Alcides? Can you participate? Jose Alcides Leiva. Let me know. Uh, okay. What about uh, you? Hello. hello. Can, can you participate, Jose? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so you and Ronald. Okay, first you are Ronald. Uh, you are Claire, Ronald, and Steve. That is you, Jose, and then you change roles when you finish. Okay? Okay. Perfect. I am Claire. Oh, yes, Ronald, please. Okay. And this uh, this one of the best online magazine I ever read. A look, a quiz, or war. How much do you know? Oh, 
I love quizzes. Ask, ask me the question. Sure. First question, which country is large? Mexico or Australia? I know Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. Is the night? All right. Here is and war. Here is her one. Which country is more crowded? Crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay. One more. Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong. London or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Okay. Okay, I'm clear. This is one of the best airline magazines i ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Or war, how much do you know? Oh, I love quiz. Ask me the question. Sure. First question. Which country is larger? Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is large than that, that Mexico. Okay, Ned. What's the longest river in the world? That AC is the Nile. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Malta or England? It's, I am not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. Uh, the two of you, you have a few mistakes on pronunciation. I gotta tell you the attendums really quick, and then I will get back to the conversation so I can play the audio and you like hear um what are those mistakes that you you're missing okay uh let me tell the attendance please ana cristina peña de paz thank you so much cristina welcome good evening blanca isolina guzman cruz I'm here. thank you so much and welcome briseida janet garcia de crespin Hello, Briseida. Are you here? Let me check really quick. Yes, she is here. Thank you so much. Good evening. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Good evening. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Hello, Christian. Are you here? Yes, he is here. Um... Daniela Mercedes Olivares Recinos. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Evers Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present, teacher. I am ready. Wonderful. Yeah. Nice to have you. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Thank you, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Good evening. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present. Thank you so much and welcome. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Good evening. Present teacher. Oh, oh, that was quite clever. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome. Iliana Mariela Alvarado Mejiva. Thank you so much, Iliana. You told me already. No problem. I got you. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Nice to have you. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Gentlemen, it's nice to have you. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. 
Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome, Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia. Present. Thank you so much. Oh, let me see. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome, Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present, teacher. Good evening, Good evening. gentlemen. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Kevin. Welcome, Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Present, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudis. Hello, I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you, gentlemen. Mer Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much, Marcos. Good evening. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Maria. Good evening. Milena de Los Ángeles Aragón, Aragón Pleites. Hello, Milena. Are you here? Okay, Milena. No, she isn't here. Okay. Uh, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya, thank you so much. Good evening. Present teacher. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Alvarez. Welcome, Sandra. Nice to have you. Mm -hmm. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Thank you, um, Tiffany. Good evening. Uh, and Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa. Hello, Jenny. Welcome. Recordarles eh, lo de los ejercicios en la plataforma. Así les recomiendo, no sé si vieron un mensaje que mandaron al grupo de WhatsApp, pues donde se les solicita que los hagan, inclusive antes que terminemos con las sesiones, right? So, uh, igual así se les, les invito a realizarlos. Si tienen algún inconveniente con algún ejercicio, pues estoy a la orden, solo escribanlo al grupo, right? Y tan pronto pues tengan el chance de contestarle con gusto, pues les apoyo. Ok, sí. Uh, entonces, sí les, um, les, pues les invito a realizar las actividades eh, que están en la plataforma, right? Y hacerlas pues lo más pronto posible. Yep. Ok. Um, I'm sorry for the, for the Spanish part of that one, but I, I gotta do it. Marcos, thank you. Go ahead. Excuse me, teacher. I solo uh, una cuestión. Uh... No sé si a los demás compañeros les pasa. Eh, yo finalicé el curso anterior, pero no me ha cerrado ni me ha eh, mostrado el diploma. Me ha quedado como en stand-by. Y me dijeron que me iban a responder este, eh, pronto, pero no sé si están, tienen algún problema en la plataforma o algo así. Ok, pero usted puede realizar los ejercicios de este módulo, me avisa. Yes, sí, 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 correcto. Va. Ok, Ahí solo está. déjenme anotar eso por acá. Permítame, give me a minute, I'm sorry. Ok. Um, en mi caso tampoco recibí diploma, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Ahorita lo voy a anotar aquí rapidito. Ok. Entonces tengo a, uh, let me see, give me a minute. Me too. Ok, so Marcos, ok. Uh, Alberto Palacios, right? Alberto. Perdón, en mi caso yo no estoy en grupo de WhatsApp. No. Eh, me dijo José Mauricio, eh, right? ¿En qué momento lo agregaron? No sé. Yes, yes. Ok. Antes de ser Ok, no diploma, right? Y, y, y tampoco, teacher. Bueno, no. me no. teacher. Me ya tarde, ¿verdad? Quizás unas dos semanas después lo envían, pero en esta ocasión. Ya que los compañeros están preguntando, no sé. Okay. Que igual, yo nunca lo he preguntado. Y siempre okay. me ha llegado el diploma. Ok. Sí. Porque Perfect. siempre llega por correo o podemos Exacto. descargarlo en la plataforma y esta vez no ha sido así. Yes. I apologize for the inconvenience you're having. Lo voy a reportar el día de mañana. Sí. Eh, y, y vamos a ver cómo le solucionan lo más pronto posible. Ok. Yes. Buenas noches, teacher. En mi caso tampoco se ha cerrado. Ok. Ok, José Alcides, thank you so much for letting me know. Eh, let me see. La compañera que dijo que, que no estaba en el grupo. Eh, déjeme ver. Yo. Ok. Blanca y Solina. Sí, ahorita. Eh, quiero ver, copiar vínculo. Ok, lo voy a enviar ahorita al chat de WhatsApp. Here, so you can have it. Ok. Y, y puede ingresar. Gracias. Ok. 
Ahí está. Ahí compartimos solo cosas relacionadas al, 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 a la class, right? Yes. Uh, sí, de vez en cuando un saludito ahí. But everything is good. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. Uh, very good. Entonces, mañana lo notifico. And I hope that they can, they can uh, solve that inconvenience as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you so much. I will play the audio so you can listen pronunciation on this one. Pretty much with uh, some adjectives like larger, okay, crowded. Okay, let's listen. Unit 14. It's the coldest city. Page 93. Exercise 2. Conversation. I love quizzes. Part A. Listen and practice. This is one of the best airline magazines I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Our world. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Amazon. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Thank you so much. We're going to have Daniela and, um, let me see. Jose Mauricio, please. You are going to be a Steve. Jose Mauricio, and Daniela, you are Claire. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. This is one of the best airline magazine I ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Our world. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me a question. A question. Ask, ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay. Next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Nile. All right. Here's a hard one. A hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay. One more. Yeah. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. It was very good. Thank you so much. We're going to have you, Claudia. You're going to be Steve. And let me see. Uh, Kevin Eduardo, you're going to be Claire. This is one of the best airline magazines I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Or work. How much do you know? Oh, I love oh. quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is large, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay. Next. What's the longer river in the world? That's easy. It's the Nile. All right. Here... Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay. One more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that Paris is the most expensive. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Uh, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Sí. You are clear. Uh, Maria Vilma. 
Yes, you are Steve, Maria Vilma. Steve. Okay, ready? Let's begin. This is one of the best early magazines I ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Or girl, how much do you know? Oh, I love quiz. Ask me the question. Sure. First question Which country is larger? Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay. Next, what's the longest river in the world? That is the Nile. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded? Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that AC. Paris is the most expensive. Easy. Easy. That's easy. Okay, sí quiero felicitar a ustedes, María Vilma and Ana. Very good. I love it the way you did it. It's, it's, I mean, créanme que me han hecho, me han hecho el día. Y es porque están trabajando excellent. Okay. So, sigan practicando. Keep practicing. Keep practicing because todo lo que están haciendo is working. Yes. So, uh, sí les felicito. Congrats, the, like the two of you. Because you're doing a really excellent job. I love it. Yes. So, thank you so much for doing that. Yes. Thank you so much for aprovechar su tiempo. Thank you so much for being like, oh, very good. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you, uh, I'm sorry. We're going to keep moving with another exercise. Unit four. Which is this one. Okay. So this example, Claudia. Question for you, Claudia. Okay. Yes, Which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Mm -hmm. Paris. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out because here we don't have the answers, right? We just have the questions, but the, is, we don't know if that's like right or, or, or not. Here we're going to get the correct answer, right? Listen to the rest of this conversation and let's see how many questions Steve get right. Let's see. Page 93, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How many questions did Steve get right? So let's see how you did on this quiz. The first question, which is larger, Mexico or Australia? You said... Australia. And you're right. Both are large, but Australia is larger. Next, what's the longest river in the world? You said the Nile. Sorry, that's wrong. It's the Amazon. Oh, of course. I knew that. This next question I didn't know. Malta is more crowded than England. So I got it right? I remember hearing that Malta is the most crowded country in Europe. And finally, you said that Paris is the most expensive city. Yeah. And it is, right? Sorry, Steve. Actually, Hong Kong is the most expensive of the three. Really? Wow. I guess I didn't do so well. Too right, but too wrong. No, come on. You did okay. So it's Laila Selecta, right? It's Laila Selecta, right? <laughs> we play well, but <laughs> we didn't win. Yes, like that. Okay, Claudia. So now you got the correct one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So how many? How many right and how many wrong? Um, he had two right and two wrong. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so the last one that I, the one that I uh, ask you, right? You got it wrong. I'm sorry about it. Page nine. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're gonna have a little bit of the grammar part related to this uh, content that we have in this week. Let's listen and watch.
Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population? Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative, long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad. Worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples, he is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. So, Thank you so much for listening and watching. Uh, this topic, I somehow love it because it's one of the easiest ones that we have in English. This is one of the easiest ones, okay? Do you remember verb to be? That little thing, verb to be is and are. Yeah, pretty much is, right? We're gonna use in here with comparatives. The first thing you need to take a look, we have adjectives, right? Okay, what are adjectives? Uh, Mauricio, please help us. Give us the light on that one. What are adjectives? The meaning or the... Uh, yeah, what's the definition of adjectives? Well, the definition of adjectives... We got the example that you are showing us at this moment. And yeah. R for describe. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, can you give me an example, please? Thank you. Well, the the two girls in front of us, one has the most beautiful hair and the other not, I guess. Oh, and now you're comparing. Now I'm talking about this simple, this simple one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, just, just go with the basic, okay? <laughs> Long. Okay. Mm, that child, 
has a long hair. That's accurate. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very simple, right? So this thing help us to describe something, describe somebody, like appearance, right? Very good. Uh, and and also, also objects. Objects, exactly. Animals, uh, whatever you want to describe, you can use these basic adjectives here. Okay. Right? And when it comes to compare, you need to use another structure that is quite related to the first one. Okay. You need to add uh, this grammar structure here. ER at right? the end. If you, exactly, if you want to compare, right? These okay. are irregulars. And if you want to compare in a group, like in a group of people, mm -hmm. yes, you need to use this grammar structure. So these adjectives are just just to like describe normal, let's say things, right? And this one is about comparing. This one is about comparing between two. Uh, and this is about comparing in a group. Okay. okay. I hope that we can get deep into this one tomorrow because the time is over, as you may know. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Good night, people, and see you tomorrow. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Have a good Bye -bye. night. Bye, partners.